going on everyone welcome ravage here so yesterday i dropped that video gpu mining profits are picking up you know gpu mines looking good again but a lot of you guys weren't sure what website i was using for profit calculators and a lot of you guys had questions about you know how come i'm not getting the same rewards as that profit calculator and so on so it does sound like a lot of new miners are entering the space which is expected every new cycle new miners come in and things get bigger and bigger and bigger so we're going to kind of go through some basics here on looking at which profit calculators to use as well as why you're not going to probably see the exact same numbers <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start off here with what to mine. And this is one of the most popular ones. Now, this is what we use a lot, like about well, three, four years ago when Ethereum was around. I remember coming in here and seeing just mad amounts. She's like, yes, mining is awesome. You know, now it kind of sucks compared to that. You know, a lot of people don't expect mining to be back until you're back to Ethereum level profits. When it comes to GPUs, you know, this cycle will probably never see those profits again so if you think you know you're not going to mine again till gpu mining uh levels back in 2021 were around expect that not to happen you may as well sell your hardware now that's just the way it is so anyway moving forward here this is what to mine now looking at a 3070 it's pretty easy to use up top you see a bunch of presets here you can just put in as soon as you click on one it'll automatically go to one if it's zero but we're going to look at a 3070 and then it pops up a bunch of preset hash rates and power consumptions then you set your power price right here then you can guess if you want you know you want your profitability per 24-hour average if you want your current profit which means all the current network difficulties and prices right now and so on there's a lot of different ways you can adjust the profitability on here so a 3070 you know it used to be a little bit off more it looks like it's closer here you know ethash 4g you know etc octospace and so on it's around 61 mega hash 134 watts 131 watts depending on your efficiency of your power supply and so on but it does look pretty close but you can adjust these manually to whatever you want adjust your power again here and then you just hit that calculate button and it'll tell you a list here of profitable coins based on your power price and the hash rate that you're using obviously if you have six of these you can just put in a six and then you can just update this again calculate and you can see all the numbers updated based on a six by 3070 you can add in other gpus here 6900 xt you know 6800 calculate and you can see everything slowly start changing based on that as well you can set up your rigs what you got here it makes it nice and easy now hashrate.no which we'll look at after this is which is the one i did use in the video the other day it has a much nicer looking ui and stuff but it doesn't mean count this one out but i do think the really strong suit with what to mine now is in the coins and the ASIC side. In the coins here, you can see block rewards and all sorts of different things. Type in your coin if you're trying to make your own spreadsheets, your own profit calculator, and so on. You can get the information about the coins here. Now, a major thing here is I think they're really strong on the ASIC side of things because they do count nice hash and all sorts of things based on current rates. A lot of the other websites, they don't count a lot of the other coins that you can mine and stuff on some, like say ETHash, ASICs, for example. There's multiple coins that you can mine and you don't really see that profitability on them on the most profitable coins where this here actually does take into account all the coins these miners can mine and gives you some numbers here obviously we can see the casper asics have been dominating for a very long time the k7 here looks like nice hash versus just mining the coin you can see the comparisons here if the nice hash demand goes up obviously it is better to put it on nice hash get that bitcoin swap it back into ckb you'll end up getting a lot more ckb or just sell it and buy some other coin that you want to hodl maybe something like i don't know whatever you like out there and then we have x16ps and that's just all these asics out there but i think this is a very good source to check out when it comes to asic profitability so this is hashrate.no and this is what i did use in the video the other day that a lot of people were asking me about and this is this is what it is this is hashrate.no and then you just simply click on gpus up here and it brings us up now there are quite a few advantages here again these are all presets to whatever they have set at you know do your own research check your own rigs out, see what yours are hashing about so you know exactly you know how they're doing compared to these numbers they're not all 100 percent right but they do have overclock settings for set coins in here so for example if you click on the coin you can see you know some presets here like your offsets mem locks and 
memory locks, core locks, and all sorts of things, how much it's setting for a power limit, and so on. So you can get some basic ideas. Obviously, there are more efficient settings and better settings. Some would even get better hash rate if that's something you're looking for if you have cheap power. But regardless here, you can see they do have these other options. Now, when it comes to the CPU side of things, this is... Well, they just recently had Cubic. You can see it's rocking it. But, guys, just because it looks like a 7800X3D here is destroying a 7950X and stuff, this is where I'm kind of telling you they're way out to lunch on a lot of the numbers on the CPUs. Don't go here and think this is what you're getting on a CPU. Example, a 7950X3D right now in Cubic, it says it's only using, where is it, 103 watts. I tested this. We're at like 135 to 140 watts or something. So the CPUs are out to lunch on all the power consumptions and stuff that it uses. So don't go out there and think, okay, this is absolutely awesome. Buy 10 of them, not even knowing what's going on, doing your own research and figuring out, oh, crap, this is using a lot more power than I thought. That's kind of what's going on there. So keep that in mind. So I do prefer hash rate dot and knowing stuff for GPUs only. The A6 FPGA CPUs do all seem to be way out to lunch where uh, what to mine here is pretty nice when it comes to the ASIC side of things and hash rate no is good for the GPU side of things. Now another thing that's kind of weird here as well is you can see like Gram is really profitable on a lot of coins. The other day Gram was like the top coin for the majority of all these GPUs but there were a couple GPUs where Gram wasn't listed and I was like whoa what's going on if you clicked on it they didn't even have Gram. Oh, they have a Gram listed here now so it is here now but the other day I went through the the whole list here and it wasn't even in the gpu so it did look like they updated it but keep that in mind as they add and remove add coins remove coins and so on you know it may look like some coins are popping off here but a different coin is good here but then at the same time you know this coin might not even be added in the gpu and you might have missed that another thing to keep in mind here guys is now i got the question the other day in discord is how come i didn't get the same rewards as what it was telling me so example you know i should have got about three dollars six seven profit or four dollars and fifty nine cents here on who sat for an example guys say you're running the same numbers all of a sudden you get a 24 hour payout and you didn't get the same thing that this calculator predicted. So this is basing everything again, how you set it, whether it's revenue, whether it's profit per 24 hours, which is average numbers for the past 24 hours or current and so on. It depends on the network hash rate. As things get profitable, miners move towards that coin. And as miners move on to it, difficulty increases. You're competing with more miners. The yields will then begin to drop and you will end up with less coins. Also, depending Depending on the price of that coin at the time after 24 hours it could be up it could be down so you made you know more or less on top of that you also got to keep in mind you know the pools that you're mining to a lot of people are bouncing from pool to pool to pool to pool all the time you're actually losing you're not winning you are losing if you're just moving around say Pyron and who's had a flop and every three hours with each other the top coin and you're actually following that you're actually losing then you're better off mining something down here straight because now you got to fill up PPL and S logs, you're switching pools, you're switching coins and pools, and you're building these logs, and then you're actually losing shares, and you're just losing long term because PPL and S require an X amount of time mining anywhere up to 12 hours, depending on the pool, before you even start sending full weight of your rigs and shares to the pool for them to count it. That's just the kind of so people don't pool hop, and everyone swapping this is obviously pool hopping. So if you want to pool hop, you're better off going to a PPS plus pool or a prop pool but for long-term mining most of these pools now are PPLNS to prevent pool hopping so if you're just bouncing around from coins all the time you're actually losing and not gaining by chasing profits and then when it does come to CPU mining I do have my own website here revmining.com and it does have a CPU mining calculator beta test which will be getting cubic and a bunch of coins added here very soon but it has some presets based on my settings. Obviously, if you're overclocking and running a lot more power and you got cheap power, just adjust these to whatever you have and then hit that calculate button based on your power costs and it'll give you some rough ideas of some profitability. Again, do your own testing on your own rig so you know exactly what the hash rate and power is. But thank you for checking out this video, guys. Hopefully it helps you, you know, around for what websites to use to look for profits. And always keep in mind, they are never 100% accurate. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Rabbit out.